Hey everyone and welcome back to the Amber Living Vlog. This is Beyond Film School and I am Amber and today we're talking about the coronavirus and the filmmaking industry. Oh my goodness you haven't seen me in 11 months. I haven't uploaded a video in 11 months but that is largely due to me working full-time on set and another venture I have going on called Run With Amber has zero to do with film but uh, I'm a firm believer in doing things that you enjoy uh, and traveling, running, and writing are three of those things I really love doing and all three of those things are combined on runwithamber.com. So if you want to check out what else I'm up to that is what I'm up to and that's why I've been spending a lot of my time on. Let's jump into the craziness that is coronavirus COVID-19. I'm going to talk about how this whole whole situation coronavirus has affected me. My show was shut down. I worked on an NBC show. Uh, we had three episodes to go before we were done wrapping our season and we everything was changing so rapidly like from day to day hour to hour um, we went from you know not visiting a certain location anymore because we shot largely in a hospital because we were a hospital show and not going to the hospital anymore because the hospital that we were going to were you know admitting patients that might have been potential you know um, coronavirus cases so we moved from not going to that location to shooting at the stage to wrapping the show potentially for a couple weeks to you know fully wrapping the season everything kept changing rapidly and i detailed all of this in a blog that i have on beyond film school i'll leave the link below for you if you want to get like all the details of how my show shut down but pretty much all production new york city wide um new jersey uh you know nationwide everything production wise was shut down so i mean on set we work with you know, 50, 70, 100 plus people. And that's not even including background actors. There are so many people that are around when you're working in film that it's just like, you can't make a movie without being around hundreds of people. So we're all shut down. With three episodes to go, it was pretty shocking. There was no rap party. <laughs> There's no rap gift. All of the things you wait for when you wrap a season. These network shows, they have 22, 23 episodes. So you're working for nine to 10 months straight. Well, with the hiatus in December, but it was just kind of like, bleh, we all, you know, our last day was pretty much, all right, we're wrapping out, bye. The plus side is, is that no one else is working. So there's no weird competition of like, hey, can you get me on this job? Which it was kind of like that because a lot of people were leaving for certain pilots on my show. And I was like, if we shut down our show and your show doesn't shut down, can you bring me to your show? Well, everything shut down. So there, there is no pilot season, basically. There's no Netflix show shooting somewhere. Um, I mean, I we heard from our friends you know, who were shooting in California and Atlanta and Chicago, like in Pittsburgh even, they are all just not taking the risk and they shut down their shows for two weeks. Um, now that two weeks has passed uh, by this time of the recording of this video and I don't think they're, <laughs> they're not gonna start shooting until all this is just gone. When we get over the hump, that's when production will come back, hopefully. As far as payment, since New York City shows were shut down, we're all gonna wonder like how the hell we're gonna make a living if everything shut down. A lot of people are out of the job and how are we gonna get paid? So luckily in the film industry, if you work in the film industry for a little while, you start knowing people on other shows. And what was happening is that we were getting wind of other shows paying their crew two weeks of pay after they wrap production or at least they were pausing. Cause some, some productions were like hope, like hopeful <laughs> that they were gonna just pause for two weeks and then resume production, which obviously we know now that's not gonna happen. But as far as payment goes, they were paying their crew two weeks of pay. So we were like, let's try and give the producers a nudge and like have them pay us as well. So I left on that Friday, Friday the 13th. <laughs> My last day of work was Friday the 13th, people. On my last day, I left knowing that I wasn't gonna have a job, wasn't gonna get a job on any show, um, and that I was fully prepared to apply for unemployment. By the weekend, I got an, a lovely email saying that we would get two weeks of pay, thankfully. So that actually is like a saving grace. At the day of this video, I got another email saying that not only were they gonna do the two weeks because now we've reached the two week mark is that they're gonna extend it another week, which is really, really great. What does this mean? Where do we go from here? This is kind of, uh, it's unprecedented, obviously. We've never had this type of thing happen. And pilot season that was supposed to happen, <laughs> it was supposed to start like, you know, sometime last week, 
um, is pretty much just gone, postponed maybe? I'm not really sure. I think that once production resumes, you know, they might, I don't know, because by this time, if they don't start shooting pilots, it really messes up the whole schedule. And I, I'm, I'm thinking about like normal, the normal things that would happen on a normal year. So who knows, maybe they could bring up pi pilot season could be in June for all we know. I don't know. So pilot season just is wiped away right now. And there's just no telling when production will resume, unfortunately. It's kind of like, pretty dark when you think about it. And I'm sorry for any film graduates or college graduates or high school graduates who are like, yes, I want to work in the film industry. And this happens. This has got to be like the most, <sighs> it sucks because you just, well, you want to jump into it and you can't. I guess the plus side, I guess the plus side to all of this is that no one in film is working and you're not the only one at home waiting for a gig to come around. We're all not working. So there's that. Every, you know that everyone's feeling the same pain right now. And if anyone is asking you to do an indie project, if an indie producer approaches you and says, hey, I want to shoot this thing during this whole coronavirus thing, they are crazy. And if you do it, you are crazy. And I think that it is a disservice to the community if you even think about joining a crew right now or even crewing up if you're a producer watching this. I think it is super irresponsible. And it, there's no bigger red flag than a producer thinking they're going to shoot their commercial or their music video right now in this crisis because it's like our job right now is to stay home make sure not to spread anything and not to get the goddamn coronavirus because the more people who are getting it the more bogged down our hospitals gets and i'm just i can't even go on this rant right now but if if anyone approaches you and says hey let's make this thing don't unless they're in your immediate family and they already live with you and you're gonna make it and make a short movie in your house don't do it i actually had a friend ask me if i could find any film gigs and i was like all production shut down. I was like, is this crazy right now? Is she crazy to even ask me this question? Like, I'm out of work right now. No, I'm not working on set. It's... And then I've had other people who have been co-workers of mine or like people coming up and saying, hey, do you know of, you know of any indie gigs or shit right now? I'm like, no, no, I don't. And even if I did, I would tell them not to shoot it. I would tell them not to be in production. I would tell you to sit back at home and not do anything. <laughs> you don't need to be on set. I know you're hurting for money, but like we're all hurting right now. I don't want to work for any producer that thinks their project is more important than what's going on right now. Sorry, but at this moment, there is nothing more important than what is happening in the world today with this whole coronavirus pandemic. There's nothing more important right now besides stopping the goddamn spread so we can get on with our lives finally. <laughs> you may be asking, what can I do? What should I be doing? What can I be doing? I feel like this is a blessing. For me, this is a blessing in disguise because I had no time to work on any other projects that I wanted to work on. I didn't have time to work on Beyond Film School. I didn't have time to work on Orm with Amber. I didn't have time to work on all the things I wanted to do. This is the time that you should be building yourself up, honing your skills, working on software, getting to know editing software, making your demo reels. Maybe it's a YouTube channel that you're trying to like, you know, build up. This is the time to do it. We're talking about like script writing. Like this is the perfect time to write those stories that you want to write, rewrite. You can like create virtual hangouts and like get a couple of writers together and critique each other's scripts or screenplays or whatever. Like you can get a chance to do that now because now you have the time to do it. Photographers, I know you have a bunch of photos that you need to edit. If anyone's trying to learn uh, Final Cut, like get on those YouTube videos. If anyone's trying to learn After Effects, all these things, Photoshop, all these things that you could be working on to get yourself better. You could be working on your resume. PAs who are trying to get into the DGA, this is the time to work on your book to submit to the DGA. Like you have to count your call sheets, get your, your pay subs together, start getting all the stuff together and organize it. It may not be done. You may not have your 600 days, but you can start creating your book. Masterclass is super cheap right now. Um, Teachables are like offering free courses right now. There are so things online if you're looking to learn about it the, just google it and i'm pretty sure there's a free version of it somewhere where they're like oh corona discount there's so many things that are being offered for free right now because of what's happening and if you need some film education catch up on classic movies and i'm not even saying this lightly i like really do mean this because this is something that is kind of great because you have the time to watch those classics like if you've never watched citizen kane sit down and do it like right now I am in the middle of Lawrence of Arabia. I watched Funny Girl the other day. Like these, I'm, I'm talking like 1960s, 1950s, like old classic movies, get to know them. <laughs> because a lot of those movies are 
in the movies you see today and you don't even understand the references. And also, if you're trying to be a director, watching classic movies is a perfect way to kind of gain a knowledge of how things are done and how techniques that were made. It's like, man, there's so many behind the scenes videos that you can be watching about how movie making and some of that. I can't even, I can go on and on about it, but make this time about you. Improve you, improve your skills and prepare yourself for when production does come back and when the jobs are out there. Because when the floodgates open, I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a ton of work because everyone and everything is at a standstill right now. So I like to think I'm an optimist, I guess. I don't know. But um, the stimulus package at the, ta at the date of when I record this video, the House passed it today and the Senate passed it. So all that needs to happen is Trump signs it. And then we're all going to get our $1,200 checks and be living large for one time. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm hoping that does help some people. But um, when production does come back, like I said before, there's going to be a lot of work. Or at least I'm just hoping there's going to be a lot of work and there's going to be a ton of work for everybody. I really hope there's going to be a lot of work coming after this. Oh man, I mean, I just... <sighs> my optimism is that everything is going to be fine and we're all going to just laugh at this one day. No, we're never going to laugh at this. I don't think so. I think that this will teach us about hygiene. We'll all be a little bit more cautious. We won't laugh at people who are wearing masks because they want to make sure that no one else gets sick, all this stuff. So it does, I think it is going to teach us a lot um, going forward. I just think this this time is just crazy. And I know it sucks that we it's starting to get nice outside and we can't do a lot outside. We can't go anywhere. We can't even go to a bar, even a movie. We can't, we can't do anything. But there's so many things you can do and like I said, like improving yourself, making sure you're honing your skills, all this stuff, keeping yourself busy. Um, because when you think about it on, on, on a global scale, it does kind of get depressing. Just make sure you're following the social distancing and hygiene and all the things that, you know, Cuomo, our lovely governor, is telling us to do and Trump. Sometimes you can't even believe what that man says. It's so hard. Just, you know what you have to do. Social distancing. Don't go anywhere you don't need to go. Stay away from folks. Wash your hands. Just do this for like 20 seconds. Sing your favorite song. It doesn't have to be happy birthday. Give me any goddamn song. To be honest, this really kind of rocked my world because while I wasn't making videos for Beyond Film School, I kind of was doing um, other things for Beyond Film School. Like I just planned and booked <laughs> my director's panel. Like I booked all the directors, I planned everything out. So I was, you know, I got the venue and it was, I was gonna like launch the Eventbrite and and because what I wanted to do was do these monthly panels with different positions on set where you can like sit down, talk to and, and, and get to know what it's like to really be a director or a DP or a gaffer or a camera operator, all these things. I wanted to do one a month and now I can't do that. <laughs> and now it's all postponed. Um, even my PA class, like I luckily I got my PA class in early February and I have another one coming up in June. I don't know where we're gonna be in June, I don't know, but it's still on my website. If you still wanna sign up to be um, in the PA training program, you can. And if I have to postpone it, I will, because you, you do what you have to do. I postponed the director's panel, I postpone, postpone the other thing I have, <laughs> it kinda sucks. But in the end, it is a blessing in disguise and I have so much time on my hands and now I'm, I'm, I'm grateful that I could actually come back to making videos. I will be having a new series after this, um, talking about ADs, all different types of ADs, all of them from the first all the way to the additional second second. So um, I haven't talked about that and like I don't even know why I've kind of kicked that can down the road. I didn't want to do videos about being an AD because I feel like I talked about it enough in my videos but people are asking for it. So I'm gonna give you what you want, people. I'm gonna do um, a video every week about a different AD. So it'll give me like a good month of content for you guys. So in the spirit of this pandemic and everything being, you know, open and free and virtual hangouts and all that stuff. I want to do a virtual hangout. Um, I would like to host a Zoom for some folks who want to talk to me if they have any questions. You know, what's it like being a PA? What's it like being an AD? What do you do as an AD? What is it like on set? What does this mean? I heard this. What should be on my resume? If you have questions, I am here to answer them and I will post a link below to the Facebook virtual hangout event and you can join. And I mean, hopefully I get like five people to talk to you, like five, 10. I don't want it to be crazy, but there's gonna be a few people out there who would like to utilize my tap into the knowledge that is beyond film school and Amber. So that is it for this week. 
Beyond Film School and I hate that I had to make a video where we talked about coronavirus and filmmaking industry. Who knew that the two would go so lovely together? <laughs> but that is it for me. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them below. If you want to email me, seek my advice, or have me look at your resume, or whatever, Lord knows I have the time. So just email me at beyondfilmschool at gmail.com and I will get back to you and try to help you guys any way I can. I'll see you guys next time.